Tucker Carlson took a big, bold, wide boring machine to drill into the Trump campaign's mind-breaking assertion yesterday that algorithms deployed in the voting machines around the country magically switched Trump votes into Biden votes. And it happened in the order of billion, millions of votes. Tucker did not call them outright liars, but that's exactly what he did. As usual, he ran things in a circle, kept running around it, warmed his viewers to the story, and then bang, he was right at the center of it. He asked conspiracy theorist and Trump campaign attorney Sidney Powell to release the evidence, knowing fully well that they don't have any. Tucker's team, as he says, contacted Sidney Powell many times asking them to release the evidence. As if Fox News did not know, there won't be any evidence worth sharing. So how do I know there is no evidence? Well, if there was any evidence, then the Trump campaign will not be staring at the 0 to 26 result that they have in the courts around the country. If this so-called attorney had even an iota of evidence, she would have given it to the court and won the case by this time. The scoreline will not be reading 0 to 26. I know some of my channel viewers cannot stand Tucker Carlson, but please grit yourself and let him lay out the story. I will see you on the other side. Invitation to fraud. And he's right. That's why Canada, for example, doesn't do it. All of which brings us to the bombshell at the center of today's press conference. That was delivered by former prosecutor Sidney Powell, who has also served as General Mike Flynn's lawyer. For more than a week, Powell has been all over conservative media with the following story. This election was stolen by a collection of international leftists who manipulated vote tabulating software in order to flip millions of votes from Donald Trump to Joe Biden. The other day on television, Powell said of Trump that when the fraud is finally uncovered, quote, I think we'll find he had at least 80 million votes. In other words, rigged software stole about 7 million votes in this election. Here's some of what Powell said today about the software. One of its most characteristic features is, is its ability to flip votes. It can set and run an algorithm that probably ran all over the country to take a certain percentage of votes from President Trump and flip them to President Biden which we might never have uncovered had the votes for President Trump not been so overwhelming in so many of these states that it broke the algorithm that had been plugged into the system. And that's what caused them to have to shut down in the states they shut down in. That was a few hours ago, but Sidney Powell has been saying similar things for days. On Sunday night, we texted her after watching one of her segments. What Powell was describing would amount to the single greatest crime in American history. Millions of votes stolen in a day. Democracy destroyed. The end of our centuries-old system of self-government. Not a small thing. Now, to be perfectly clear, we did not dismiss any of it. We don't dismiss anything anymore, particularly when it's related to technology. We've talked to too many Silicon Valley whistleblowers. We've seen too much. After four years, this may be the single most open-minded show on television. We literally do UFO segments. Not because we're crazy or had even been interested in the subject, but because there is evidence that UFOs are real and everyone lies about it. There's evidence that a lot of things that responsible people used to dismiss out of hand as ridiculous are in fact real. And we don't care who mocks it. The louder the Yale Political Science Department and the staff of the Atlantic Magazine scream, conspiracy theory, the more interested we tend to be. That's usually a sign you're over the target. A lot of people with impressive sounding credentials in this country are frauds. They have no idea what they're doing. They're children posing as authorities. And when they're caught, they lie and then they blame you for it. We see that every day. It's the central theme of this show and will continue to be. So that's a long way of saying we took Sidney Powell seriously. We had no intention of fighting with her. We've always respected her work. We simply wanted to see the details. How could you not want to see them? So we invited Sidney Powell on the show. We would have given her the whole hour. We would have given her the entire week, actually, and listened quietly the whole time at rapt attention. That's a big story. But she never sent us any evidence, despite a lot of requests, polite requests, not a page. When we kept pressing, she got angry and told us to stop contacting her. When we checked with others around the Trump campaign, people in positions of authority, they told us Powell has never given them any evidence either, nor did she provide any today at the press conference. Powell did say that electronic voting is dangerous, and she's right, we're with her there. But she never demonstrated that a single actual vote was moved illegitimately by software from one candidate to another, not one. So why are we telling you this? 
We're telling you this because it's true. And in the end, that's all that matters, the truth. It's our only hope. It's our best defense. And it's how we're different from them. We care what's true. And we know you care, too. That's why we told you. Maybe Sidney Powell will come forward soon with details on exactly how this happened and precisely who did it. Maybe she will. We are certainly hopeful that she will. What happened with the vote counting this month and at the polling places in Detroit and the polling places in Philadelphia and so much else actually matters. It matters no matter who you voted for. It matters whether or not you think this election is already over. Until we know the answers to those questions conclusively and we can agree on them, this country will not be united. So a couple of things here. Tucker is known as the blue-eyed boy of Trump, a staunch backer of Trumpism. There is no chance he does not know what is going on. He says his team contacted Sidney Powell on Sunday and asked her to be on the show. Tucker told his millions of Republican viewers that despite asking Sidney Powell to show him the evidence, she refused to do so. And she refused to show him even a single page. And the best blow came at the end. He told his viewers that as he kept pressing for evidence, she got angry and told them to stop contacting her. The old Tucker Carlson will have never contacted Sidney Powell for evidence, let alone taking her to task on live TV. As he was ripping into Sidney Powell, Fox News kept running a byline that read, voter fraud separating fact from fiction. The breakup is now official and Fox News is now moving in to contain Trump and shred Trump campaign's illegal vote theory. This would not have happened without a green signal from the top levels of Fox News. And as you know with Fox, it will keep doubling down on this direction. Fox will not change the direction. Fox also understands that it needs Trump voters. That is why I don't think it will go after Trump at any point. But it will relentlessly attack attorneys like Sidney Powell. You know why? They know the Trump campaign's weakest point is the lack of evidence. And that is the exact place where Fox will ramp up its attacks. Fox will now lead the crusade to find the evidence and the Trump team has none. I will just leave you with one more line item. Iowa Senator Joni Ernst was on Fox News yesterday. In an interview with Fox News' Guy Benson, Ernst said that Trump has every right to challenge the results in the court, echoing the same words that Mitch McConnell used, but asked for proof of wrongdoing and labeled accusations of Sidney Powell as absolutely outrageous, echoing Tucker Carlson. It was like she already knew what Tucker Carlson was going to talk about in his show on the same day. In politics, there are no coincidences. There is only the illusion of coincidence. So Johnny Ernst, Mitch McConnell, Tucker Carlson, Rupert Murdoch. You guys know how to fill the blanks, don't you? So thanks for watching. If you like the content, please subscribe. That's the only way this channel will grow. Otherwise, it is going to be stuck under the pile of social media misinformation rubble and it will never see the light. Thanks for watching.